take over. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nine, four, the right hand. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's got his tight end, Jake Bunt. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Back to throw. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And the possession is theirs at the... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future All-Pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago. Really, it grades out as a pretty darn good class. So you have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization. General manager, personnel department, college scouts, all came together. They evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that's complete to Sanders. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They go play action here on first down. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away in second down. Now we'll look to throw here on second and ten. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get it to Phillip Lindsay there. But now it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll look to throw. And he finds Hamilton. That's complete. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Hamilton, the fourth-round pick, had a very productive career at Penn State where he was teammates with Saquon Barkley. And the tandem of he and Cortland Sutton brings some solid youth to that Bronco receiver's room. It's caught inside the 25. It's a game of 34. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers thought process. No one left behind, no pointing fingers, no accusations, because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. From the 21, it's second and 10. They're going to look to throw. And this is incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it, third and 10. On play action, they'll throw. And this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Cortland. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Looking to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he's able to bat it away. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. 
he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, that's He's true. Got to stay with it. That's true. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And he's gonna have the hook up to Sutton. And they work this out past the 25. A well-executed 22-yard game. This quarterback now, eight of 17 so far, so under 50%, but he's got a first and 10. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. This quarterback now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. Now a carry for Lindsey. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Second and three. Looking for Sanders here on the deep ball. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. It's a big play there for the Broncos. 42 yards. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Cortland Sutton, his 10th touchdown of the season. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete to Jake Butt. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll set up a throw. It's caught by Sanders. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Call that a very strong gain of 24. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? But Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much during this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. They'll try to draw Lindsey. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Second and five. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Deshaun Hamilton, the intended receiver, and it's third and five. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. He'll drop to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. The kick by McManus is good. And that will bump the lead up to 11. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock. Now following the field goal, what can this offense do? We're about to find out. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got Jake Butt, his tight end. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. And 
And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Second and 10. The Sanders has got it complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander, and a big... So they surrendered three points, and now after the kickoff, this offense gets ready to take over the football. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Denver has the first down, the play going for 15 yards. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. They'll throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On first down, Lindsey. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Vanderbilt's own Oren Burks had the tackle defensively. Here's second and eight. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Enough to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run here with Freeman. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. Royce. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. A play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll drop the throw. He's got it. The tight end, Jeff Hireman. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Tremont Williams there to break that one up. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. He'll look to throw. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Flushed out right. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll set up to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. 
and he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Face mask, defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. They'll look to run with Freeman. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a block. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll run on first down. It's Lindsey. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside of the 40. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And that's complete to the tight end, Hireman. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down this. inside the 20. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. On first down, Lindsey. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll go again with Lindsey. And he's brought down. It's a pickup of 13, and with that 13 yards, this ball game just about over. Well, they probably don't need to run a play. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. His sixth touchdown. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to